morning. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Good Vibes. I'm your host, Lisa Hout, the hippie chick. And I have Lori Porter with me, the chippy hick. Yeah, the chippy <laughs> hick. That's what we decided on your opening show, wasn't it? I love it. it. I yes. don't know what's going on with this show and this Good Vibes, but you had me on for something what was it the month we you started it was oh it was uh, our challenge where we were doing fitness or something workout and water mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know what working out in water got me a heart attack a heart attack <laughs> today as some of you may know Lori had a heart attack a few weeks ago three weeks ago yes ma'am and um, she scared us all quite a bit scared herself a little bit and February is women's heart health month if I can get it out of my mouth there you go and I thought Lori you would all appreciate seeing her knowing she's okay that she's healing that she's well and also maybe hear her perspectives on this issue so well um yes i was quite surprised because i've been living right you know i think i said on the show the last uh, couple of years i've been trying to heal myself on diabetes and i've Mm -hmm. done a fairly good job but um, my lab work was great so when uh, that saturday night rolled around that started on my issues i just thought no history in my family of heart you know my right my parents were more on the cancer side and the stroke side of life and so I really uh, thought I had indigestion so one of the classic signs they say women they try to pass it off as indigestion or whatever Mm -hmm. yes and back pain I've heard yeah shoulder Mm -hmm. jaw I had everything sweat was just pouring off of me and I was sitting in the I had our back door open and I was sitting in the floor and um, a few weeks ago it sleeted and iced over and I didn't really want Lisa driving me to the hospital and yeah. that so I didn't tell her every symptom I was having because I knew that as the RN you knew she would yes. yeah <laughs> or the warden as I like to call her the last <laughs> yes, I've heard that few, a few times the last few, few weeks, weeks. Yeah. <laughs> but I had you know thankfully she makes it a lot easier for me to take care of myself and has for a while but um, you know, I ignore. I did everything you're not supposed to do for women's heart health. You know, just ignored it Saturday. Popped uh, lots of antacids and yeah, tums and those kind of things. Even drank, sent Lisa to the store for some Alka Seltzer. Oh gosh, the old timey. Mm-hmm. Gosh, Alka Seltzer's been around forever, hasn't it? Longer than us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I'm doing anything to try because I just felt indigent. Anyway, long story short, from Saturday from 8 p.m. until Monday at 8.30 a.m., mm. I guess I was having a heart attack. So uh, I will just say this. Don't be stubborn. Uh, however, you know, uh, fortunately, my case worked out all right. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but uh, they say this Mediterranean diet is what anyone should be on who really wants to take care of their heart interesting and when i thought mediterranean i thought mediterranean restaurants i'm not a uh, you know that's yeah. never appealed to me but that's not really what the mediterranean no. heart lots diet of fish is. lots of yes and you know i like fish but i like it fried breaded <laughs> and fried so <laughs> kind of uh, defeats the purpose yeah, doesn't it? yeah 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 <laughs> uh but uh, you know i can say this that uh it's really challenging now because I've been doing low carb diet for a couple of years. Because of your diabetes. Right. Mm-hmm. Lost 50 pounds. Uh, went to the cardiologist for follow up recently. And he said, I was like, why do I have to take all these pills? Like, I'm on nine a day now. Mm-hmm. You know, our nursing home residents, I'm up to their drug amount, you know. So. I didn't have high blood pressure. I Thank goodness. don't have high cholesterol, and but yet um, I had a hundred percent blocked coronary artery. Mm-hmm. The widow so, major. No, that's, it wasn't that a one? lot of people think so, but oh. it is your left uh, oh. main artery that is the. They can all be a widow maker, by the <laughs> way. Obviously, but, yeah. <laughs> uh, you have a lot less time when the left side's blocked. I see, and so, yours was the right. Mine was the right uh, main artery. I don't know whether it's my right or their right or who's right, but somewhere mm-hmm. in there in the ticker, it was clogged up. So I have a stent, and um, regardless of my lab work, I have to take three high blood pressure medicines now, a statin, and a blood thinner. So uh, not to mention a few other things, uh, just to make everybody laugh. They also put me on a stool softener, so that'll... <laughs> 
<laughs> That'll take you right into old age right there from, you know, not needing uh, any help in those areas yeah. to, okay, so now you know you've crossed over. <laughs> <laughs> You're too young to cross over. That's yet. Right. <laughs> so anyway, I said to him, I don't have all these things. Why do I have to take these meds? And he said, well, that's probably why you, <laughs> why you live to tell about it. Uh, because I have, but he said the other 54 years that you uh, ate, had ate badly and, and, didn't know and, and high triglycerides mm -hmm. and all the terrible lab work. Yeah, I told uh, somebody the other day my lab work was far worse in my 30s than it ever has been in my 50s. Well, thank goodness you were proactive when you found out about the diabetes. and. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I've, uh, you know, I'm not uh, non-compliant. Uh, I've tried to... Uh, I have to say, when I was up in Michigan, the, what my A1C is a little high, my is it? diabetes uh, mm -hmm. markers, but it's not terrible, 6'4". Um, but that's with no diabetes medication right. ever. Right, that's just and, with medicine, I mean, with your food. You know, food. when they do an A1C, it's kind of a 90-day look yeah. back to see. So, naturally, the holidays were in there. Right. And then when I'm up in Michigan working with Drake, he takes us to this place called the Ford Garage. It's this amazing restaurant. Oh. And it's all Ford, of course, Ford Motor that's Company. Neat. So the door handles are gas pumps. Oh my gosh. Uh, they've got on their burgers a branding yeah. burn that says <laughs> Ford Garage. So they also have these really great sangrias. Okay. So Drake and I pretended that we liked the burgers, but I was really going for the sangria. <laughs> the sangria. So yeah. I'm going to chalk that up to my 6.4 A1Z was yeah. that. So. You know, as long as you, uh, the, the fish is, is tough to get past without fried and all that, but uh, it's, I'm doing it. I'm doing the fish and chicken and turkey and lean meat. We've had probably three turkeys. Since. I don't care for deli turkey or any of yeah. that. But. Yeah. So anyway, I don't know what else to tell you. Well, we're just so glad you are still here with us and and you've you've learned from it and you're going to adapt and be with us a lot longer yeah and uh, <laughs> i just um I, you know i take a minute to just give a shout out to all the people who have written me and messaged me who have reached out with um encouraging words and i'll be right back out there in the field as soon as i can get there um, we've we kind of been trying to hold her back a few days but it's tough because I love being here. Uh, I wanted to start a new show if we have just a couple of minutes. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I don't know that we'll get it started, but I really would like it. I don't know what we'd call it. A, it's not really a podcast. It'd be more like a, round a, table. a video mm -hmm. cast slash podcast. You could hear it or watch it with just some guests at the, you know, sitting at the table and discussing not just health care issues, but mainstream issues. And, you know, I guess our opinions is as important as anybody else's that cares to share it. Absolutely. So maybe we'll get on that. But uh, right now we've, uh, we're going to scoot back to Michigan just as soon as we can because we've got the opportunity to um, do a CNA uh, school there. And that's, that's exciting. Uh, yeah. Lisa Sweet, one of the greatest CNA instructors I've ever known. Uh, she and I will, um, along with the rest of our team, will be putting that together. Um, and then I feel compelled to, this is a much longer story and, and we'll have to cover it another time, but one of the things I learned in the hospital that um, I'd been seeing a lot in nursing homes. Uh-huh. Um, nurses are, I don't want to offend any nurse whatsoever <laughs> because nursing is a difficult job. Absolutely. We love you all. And uh, so I'm not saying this to disparage nurses, but when you're the patient, you realize quickly how important compassion is. Mm, true. And I felt no compassion at the admitting piece of my emergency room visit. Once I went to the into the ER room, there was a team of, I don't know, six to ten people very compassionate. Um, I, I oh, I've said since then, I thank them for doing more than their job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you can do your job and do it well, but they went beyond their job and were compassionate, caring. Right in the cath lab, 
right up to CVICU, those nurses, they, you know, I say if I would have soiled myself or been incontinent, those nurses would have been the ones to have tended to right. me. Not, not, they wouldn't have passed it off to a nurse tech. Uh, and yet they were the most compassionate nurses. Mm -hmm. The second they put me out on the floor, the second, there was no sign of compassion anymore. Hmm. So I decided to look at that a little bit. And when you talk to the nurses on the floor, it becomes the employer's fault. Interesting. Not enough nurses. Too much workload. Uh, we're busier out here. We're this. We're that. It's never, you know what, you may be right. We're not showing the same level of compassion. Mm -hmm. So I, I thought about that for a while. And I thought if you're a health care provider... Uh, I don't care if you're working the front desk at the doctor's office. Right. Influ you know, the power of your influence is incredible. It is. And it doesn't, if you can only spend a second with a patient, whether you're in a nursing home, a hospital, assisted living, home care, wherever you are practicing, your compassion, your nursing, your health care, it doesn't take any longer to do it com with compassion. That's right. You're absolutely right. And with a smile and with a grateful heart. And, and you know, I don't mm -hmm. expect them to come in there bouncing around like they're having the best day of their life. I'm not looking for phony. Mm -hmm. But you can feel compassion instantly. Absolutely. Just instantly. So, you know, I, I would think that nurses would want to take just a minute. We can blame the employers. We can. I mean, you get, I know in the health, in the nursing home setting, there's one nurse to... 40 residents sometimes, right, 40 yeah. patients. So naturally you're stressed out and these things, but you picked this, you picked healthcare. Probably um, because you are a compassionate person. You picked it because yeah. you're compassionate mm -hmm. and you care. If you didn't pick it for those reasons, you need to try to fake it. <laughs> I'm serious. Fake it's it that make it? important to the patient <laughs> slash resident. It is. Fake it if you have to, and if you are compassionate, and that's what led you into our field, and I'm talking whether you're a CNA, a nurse tech, an RN, an LPN, a critical care nurse, it makes no difference. The cardiologist yes. was compassionate. He was. He was wonderful. He was just the most compassionate doc. And so when you have it, you know it, and we should have it a lot more, mm -hmm. not less. So, Absolutely. you know. It's health care. We're taking care of a lot of people. Plenty of stress to go around, but that patient didn't create that stress. Mm -hmm. No, and and you can change a person's life Absolutely. just by showing them a little compassion. Absolutely. So always remember that you have that power and don't abuse it. Absolutely. And, you know, back to the heart health, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, quit smoking if you smoke. <laughs> you know, I'll be one of those... Hard, not never, never. I, you know, I won't tell. You got to do what you got to do and do you. Um, but what I do believe is that we can all find something that works for us. Yes, and make us a little healthier. If we don't stop, mm -hmm. if we don't, you know, today was a challenge. I met a friend for breakfast oh. at six this morning. Ooh. And breakfast is tough for me. It used to be very easy. It was three scrambled eggs, well, four slices of crispy bacon. Yeah, there's a lot of fried and stuff And I left the toast, mm -hmm. away, you know, because that was yeah. carbs. Mm -hmm. So eggs and bacon are not carbo. Today, well, I can't have bacon anymore. Darn. Turkey bacon. Turkey bacon. If you like it, have it. <laughs> well, I'm not going to touch that one. Well, I'll say that turkey <laughs> bacon. If you like it, awesome. But it's not bacon. It reminds me of that City Slickers movie. Remember, you know, yes, Billy but it's been Crystal. a long time oh, yeah. ago. Lisa and I watched it the other night. Uh, anyway, Curly had bacon. They said he ate bacon for every meal or something like that. And I thought, well, that used to be me. But now with low, try doing low fat and low carb. That's a challenge. It is a challenge. Yeah, but anyway, I still believe in in the low carb diet. Not no carbs, but the carbs I do eat now are whole grains, fruit, mm -hmm. which I wasn't mm -hmm. doing much grains because of the carbs or fruit because yeah. of the carbs. But those are the good ones. So. Cool.
Cool. Well, I'm so glad you took the time to come on with us today. I know that you're still recuperating a little bit and you get tired easily. And yeah. so I'm, I appreciate you taking the time to do I this. I bought an exercise bike too. Just she one did. of those cheapies, 97 bucks at Walmart. But you told me you did seven miles this I've, week. Yes, I've done seven so miles, that average is a mile which a day. is terrible because it's wonderful. I shouldn't, I've lost all this weight and I shouldn't really be but man, I think it's awesome. I can't take ibuprofen anymore, so so no I, aches and pains. I yeah, <laughs> I got my old lady bones are hurting from riding the bike. I can't take anything for it. So anyway, thank you so much for having me, Lisa, yes, and I. And I we, do appreciate this show a great deal. Oh, thank you. Well, we're so glad you're here. And okay, so till we see you next week, I have a special guest coming up next next monday so awesome it's can't wait to see it so all right till then watch cna tv good vibes and all of our other programs we uh, try to keep it fresh and lovely and gentleman poet's been out sick for a few days or a few weeks and we've had to do some reruns on his program yeah. but hopefully he'll be back in another week or two cool awesome all right well then until next time peace out mm -hmm.